Okay guys, today I had another person leave my keto group and they messaged me and said, sorry, I can't talk to you anymore. This lady messaged me about a week ago and told me the same thing. She said, Rich, I really apologize. My husband's giving me problems and he doesn't want me on social media talking to anybody. He doesn't want me on keto groups and stuff because there are guys on there and even though you're harmless and I don't ever talk to women privately disrespectfully in public disrespectfully at all I just don't do that it's not what I do and I definitely won't come on to another woman's or another man's woman I just don't understand how men can be and women too but it's just my experience with men so far so possessive and so controlling and a lot of women take it and I know it's because they're married I know it's because they have children and stuff like that but ladies you gotta stand up for yourself you can't live your life under the thumb of a man you can't live your life walking on eggshells you can't live your life so stressed out all the time that you have to worry that if the next time you turn around you're gonna get yelled at for doing something wrong you can't let somebody invade every little bit of privacy that you have I mean this guy was going on in logging into her accounts checking to make sure she's not talking to people and this is not the first time that this has happened she said i really appreciate all that you've done um but today she got on here and said sorry i can't talk to you anymore bye so that was what led up to that and then there are several other women in the last two months maybe even more women like i know of five total so far in the last two months that have messaged me and said sorry my husband doesn't want me on social media anymore my husband doesn't want me on your keto group anymore because um, there are men on there and he's very selfish and insecure and he just doesn't want me talking to other guys. I'm like, wait a second. I don't talk to you about anything other than nutrition and keto. That's it. Like literally, you can look at every single message that I've ever sent. He can see everything and you'll never see anything inappropriate that I've ever said to you even flirted with you, nothing at all. At I mean, there are very few women that I even... I even say that they're beautiful because I'm worried if I speak my mind and let them know that they have progressed into this really beautiful form of, of the new them that their husbands or their boyfriends or whatever are going to be so controlling and freak out and make them not even be able to come onto social media and just be open and uh, network and communicate with people and stuff like that and have social relationships. If you are controlled that much by somebody in your life, you know what? I'm sorry. I would never, ever let somebody control me that much. I would never let somebody dictate how I live my life and who and who I can't talk to unless they were literally a threat or just a really, really bad choice of people and it was affecting my family. Guys, this is kind of ridiculous. I'm losing friendships and I'm losing people because of selfishness and distrust of others. And... It doesn't make any sense to me. This is more stress in these people's lives that will cause the weight gain, that cause them to keep falling off the wagon, that cause them to keep making the bad choices that they make. And it simply comes down to the stress of their loved ones that, that are literally destroying their lives little by little. If I had to live the rest of my life with somebody, even if I had children, if I had to live the rest of my life with somebody knowing that I couldn't be the best version of me for my kids, there's no way, no way I would ever stay in a relationship with somebody, married or not, to where I had to listen to somebody calling me names every day, putting me down, belittling me, and then taking my freedom away from communicating with people that may, may be my only sense of normalcy. My only relief, my release in life to actually talk about stuff and not worry about being criticized and yelled at and talked down to. Men, if you're doing this to your women, you need to get a hold of yourself. It's extremely selfish, and who are you to do that to somebody else? Who are you to control somebody else's life and take their freedoms away from them because of how selfish you are? Women, I know you guys can be, do this to men too, but I'm not speaking from that perspective I'm speaking from the perspective that I've dealt with and that's exactly what I want to talk about and if you're in a relationship where a guy wants to control you that bad and wants to dictate who you talk to and who you don't talk to you need to think about being in that relationship 
or you need to think about possibly putting your foot down and saying, you know what, I have to live this life too. You don't, you don't live this life for me. I'm going to have normal relationships and I'm going to talk to people and I'm going to communicate because I'm human and that's normal. You know, there's one thing about flirting with people and then there's another thing with just honestly being professional and communicating and not stepping outside of the boundary and being a faithful wife and a faithful husband and a trustful husband and a trustful wife doing the right thing and just communicating like a normal person would quit trying to control people let people live their life let them network let them communicate let them build relationships stop being so insecure and so distrustful that you are ruining somebody else's life where they have to feel like they're walking on eggshells around you all the time this is enough God didn't put us on this earth to be miserable and stressful every single day. Social media is a killer, but there's a lot of it that's brought on by the people that abuse it. You know, I don't want to get on social media so I can argue with people and stuff like that. I want to get on social media so I can learn, so I can network, so I can communicate, so I can teach, so I can be taught. Not so I can go on there and hook up with somebody. So I can go on there and cheat on my wife or cheat on my husband destroy my relationship with my children which I know there are some people that do that but come on let's be realistic let's be responsible let's be respectful and let's be human beings and let's not take somebody's freedom away from them it just doesn't make any sense okay guys sorry I mean I just wanted to talk about that and if you're one of those people that are dealing with something like that you need help you just need to talk to somebody message me on Facebook message me or or ask me for my contact on here and I'll talk to you I'll try to help you the best that I can I mean this is it's ridiculous if you just need to talk to somebody and you don't have an out and you have a very controlling relationship um, you know if you can get away and brainstorm and just talk about stuff and you feel safe just coming up with different options talk to me you know what if he wants to be that big of a jerk and he wants to start calling names and putting you down and stuff like that and not and not there are women that cook clean they do the laundry they do everything and they go to work helping their husbands pay the bills or they do most of the work themselves and their husbands still control them quit making his food quit washing his clothes stop sleeping in the bed with him don't give him a little piece of action and start sleeping on the couch start making him pay attention to you start making him realize that he was wrong and say you know what buddy you don't want to get your act together then I'm gonna I don't have to do nothing for you until you start treating me right you ain't getting nothing bottom line nothing and fix it all right guys sorry about the rant take care